series. Today is exciting because I'm actually moving in. In the last video, I left you guys... I just left you guys. Sorry for giving you abandonment issues. Last time I was doing the move out process, I was packing in my house and installing Wi-Fi, like doing all the prep work. As you know from the last video, I spent the night here, but I forgot like all the essentials that I need, like my toothbrush and towel and stuff. So I don't feel the cleanest right now. Anyway, today is so exciting. I'm getting a couple exciting furniture deliveries. I will show you guys. It's a huge, huge, huge item that I feel like really makes a place a home. So. I just got food. Oh, I also don't have blinds yet. And I thought that it would be fine because my apartment is facing west. So the sun should come in during sunset and like afternoon. But this is something that I discovered this morning because I, I've never been here at this hour before. Is that the sun reflects off of the glass on the opposite buildings and it floods into the apartment in the morning, which is really beautiful, but like really hard on the eyes. I actually was like, do I even need blinds before this? because I was like, I just want to become a morning girl and maybe just like wake up with the sun, but I think I actually do need it. Oh, they were doing this like buy one, get one free deal. So I got two coffees and two breakfast sandwiches. I usually don't drink coffee because historically it hasn't really worked on me. Like I don't feel anything from it. But a couple days ago, I drank this brown sugar shaken espresso thing coffee. And I think it had like three special, three special, uh, three oppression shots in it. No, three espresso shots in it and like a bunch of sugar. And I felt like feral. I was like moving at the speed of sound. I'm usually really slow at doing things, but when I was on that coffee, I felt like I was so productive. I was like, is this what a normal person feels like? I've been like, maybe the cure to me is drugs, AKA caffeine. So I am trying it, but I also don't want to like get addicted to it and rely on it too much. So it's a fine line. Ooh, wait, interesting. Taste test. There's a Jennifer flavor one and then there's a bacon flavor one. So we're going to try the bacon flavor one. Ooh. Guys, it's happening. I just caught a call and the FedEx delivery guys are being buzzed into the balcony. I'm about to show you the most exciting delivery. I've been waiting for this for so, so long. First day at the condo and first twerk. cardboard boxes but i'm so excited there's more coming they're not finished with the delivery yet but this stuff i'm unboxing in a separate video i know i know um it's because this is gonna be part of a dining room makeover which i'm so excited about so you're gonna have to stay tuned for that but i'm gonna be unboxing these in this video yeah. hello it's actually a couple hours later because I have been filming a couple TikToks. I'm trying to be so like social media slay, like all the platform, short form, long form. I also drink two coffees and I'm feeling it so hardcore. Do I just need to start drinking coffee to like have energy? Is this the salt? Because I've been so productive today when usually I have like no energy. As I was making my super slay TikTok content, I was like, oh my God, wait, my song, how to love 
Love, the acoustic version is coming out on Friday, by the way, go stream. I was like, I need to film a music video for it. I had bigger plans to film it, but what you guys might not know is filming music videos are so, so, so expensive. So I want to keep the song very like DIY and simple. So I kind of got inspired by all of these boxes. I think that video is coming out before this. I kind of want to film it like Super Mario style, like walking on these boxes. I'm going to lay my piano on here and kind of like play it like this. I think it'll be really cute, potentially. I'm not really sure. But I'm going to go grab all of my lighting from the car and also a couple other boxes and things that I brought from home. I'm currently setting up for the shot. I'm trying to figure out what looks best. Does that look weird? Bro, it looks kind of scary in here. Everything is such a fire hazard. Guys, it genuinely looks like I'm practicing witchcraft. That looks scary. I just finished filming the music video and it's actually a couple hours later. Am I gonna have time to move in today? Look how long my hair is. I usually don't curl my hair because it takes so long, but I kind of want to keep doing it. I'm literally getting so distracted, but it's dinner time. Should I go eat first? <laughs> I'm not making the same mistake as yesterday and ordering a drink and passing out for four hours, but there's a hockey game going on today. So I kind of want to like go out to a sports bar and like watch it, but then I also have to move in. So what are my priorities? First of all, let me blow out some candles. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, never mind. There's one more. <laughs> so I decided not to go to the game because. Wait, what? I wasn't going to the game. I decided not to go out to eat because we were losing <laughs> and the game is over now. So I ordered delivery because I am so, so hungry. If I like went outside to eat, I would like faint on the street. So let's see what he got. Welcome to dinner time. I can't wait to have a dining table and not have to eat at my desk in my room. I got a miso soup and coke. Oh, this looks bussin' bussin'. I realized I haven't drank water all day, so my lips have just been so crusty all day. All I've had to drink is coffee, and coffee makes me pee like crazy. I keep forgetting that I can drink tap water. I just haven't like unboxed my mugs yet, so I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna wait until I start unpacking. Girl, I haven't started unpacking yet. I don't think I'm gonna stay the night here just because I forgot to bring my toothbrush and stuff so i'm gonna have to make a trip back home but i'm gonna do a lot of unpacking wait why is there no sauce on this why is it just like raw wait i'm so confused there's no sauce huh how sausage bro where's the sauce i guess i'm just gonna have to eat it like plain welcome back shoppers today's special is a buy one get one free on mental breakdowns overthinking and scrolling on your phone hurry over to aisle four for these items and more I just took off my makeup to get ready to go home but then I realized that my parents probably locked the door as in like there's like a master lock inside that I can't open with the key and I don't want to wake them up it's like almost 2 a.m. so I think I'm just gonna stay here again but um I do absolutely need a toothbrush tonight because I can't go two days without brushing my teeth it just feels so gross I also like don't want to go outside by myself at this hour so I'm going to get it delivered this feels so bougie like i've never gotten like a toothpaste delivered a girl's gotta do what she's gotta do it's the next morning i survived the night i promise i'm gonna wash my sheets today i feel so gross i also need absolutely need a towel i'm gonna brosse my dents. let me tell you about the life i lead without blinds over my windows i thought it would make me so cute and like morning person aesthetic waking up early with this song it's actually just the most miserable experience because i can't get enough sleep it's because i've been sleeping at like four of these past two days but before that i've been sleeping at like midnight so i was like, oh, it'll be fine.
It's not fine. My skin is breaking out. But boy, does it feel good to have clean teeth. Guys, I woke up to a tragedy this morning. There was a seven point... There's been an earthquake. Bruh. So in the middle of the night, the clothing rack fell. It plummeted to its death. Cause I think that the contractors didn't put it in correctly. Okay, this lighting is so bad. But you see how this like splits open? It's supposed to be like this inside the wall so it doesn't come out. But all of these are just like stuck in like they're not split open like they're supposed to. Cause there's no, they didn't put a screw in there that's supposed to like split open the thing. So girl, like obviously it's gonna rip out of the wall. So yeah. Now I'm kind of like, I don't know if I trust the system very much um but i also was planning on taking it out of the wall anyway and like putting up higher so that i have another rack for the bottom so this might be a blessing in disguise but also it's not really a blessing because all of my clothes came tumbling down and i had a gigantic surprise in the middle of the night and not the good kind actually i don't even know if there's a good kind of surprise that can come in the middle of the night anyway on to different issues i'm finally going to be washing my sheets yes round of applause round of applause thank you so much thank you so much for your support i should have done this a long time ago but we're doing it now wait if i've never used the washing machine before should i do a, a nothing run first i would do a thing with like the vinegar vinegar I am doing laundry. The laundry is in the kitchen. Wait, look how nice it looks over here. I was like looking at the laundry machine and it's really dirty because it hasn't been used in like over a year. So I was starting to like wipe it with some wet wipes, but it's like not enough. So I think I'm going to do just a cleaning run, like throw some detergent in there. Clean washer bleach. I don't have bleach. I have disinfectant though, so I'm going to use that. Back streets, back. All right. Okay. Okay. Boy! In the meantime, let's unbox the sofa. The sofa is from Cozy. They're a Canadian company, which I love. They did send this to me. So I just want to say a huge thank you to them. I'm so excited about this sofa. It looks so comfy online. The shipping was really great because it just like comes in these different boxes. And I think it's supposed to be really easy to assemble it yourself. And you can like customize the shape and size really easily. Guys, I actually am dumb. I was like, why is this so hard to figure out? I don't know what's what. Bro, it literally says on the boxes what they are. They make it so easy. I'm just dumb. This says, we are the arms. I was like, is this a cushion? Is this like the base? I was like trying to attach the foot on it. I was like, maybe I just need some reading comprehension skills. So here I am just unboxing and assembling the sofa. It was super easy to put together because you don't need any tools and it just comes in boxes. Again, thank you so much to Cozy Canada for sponsoring this video. You can go to cozy.ca to check out their amazing selection for yourself. I'm sure you guys will see it a ton in all of my apartment videos. Now it really feels like a home. This is probably the biggest piece of furniture to enter here. I also love that it sits like right underneath the wall moldings because like I feel like it's just a very good setup. Yeah. <laughs> okay, acting. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> 
I spent the past hour cleaning out the washing machine because it's just it's like I don't even want to show you because it was like so gross at first it was so bad that I was like I think I just want to buy a new laundry machine but I scrubbed did multiple cycles I think it's as good as it's gonna get for now so I'm just gonna use it and see how well it works So excited to be living in my new apartment. I truly never thought this day would come, but here I am just re-bedding my bed and finally sleeping in clean sheets. What an accomplishment for me. This is part one of two parts of me moving in. In the next moving video, I'm gonna be unpacking more boxes from home. Also unpacking boxes from LA, which you'll see in the future video. Thank you so much to everyone who's watched since the beginning. This is so exciting. I hope you guys are excited for the future videos and subscribe if you haven't already. You can listen to my new song, How to Love, or you can watch the whole condo makeover series from the beginning. Pick your poison. See you next time. Ah!